what's up what it do y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ree. if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on notification bells on and get this video a big thumbs up guys as you see in today's video i'm going to be showing you all how to do the little mermaid nails that i did y'all this was so fun and as you all know little mermaid just came out in theaters i want to say last week so make sure y'all go watch that. I still haven't watched it. I need to go see it, but I'll be going to go see it soon. So um, I hope all is well. I hope everyone is doing okay. I'm doing great. I'm just getting slowly getting the content out for y'all. Slowly getting it out. I know I was supposed to have been put this out, guys, but oh, mommy life and my life and the nail tech life is just all over the place i need more structure and you know i just gotta get that right but anyways make sure y'all go follow me on instagram at sharissa nail tech and on tiktok sharissa nail tech everywhere sharissa nail tech besides here is reese lifestyle so as you all see with my sandra band i just was prepping my nails getting all the dead nail plate off and all the dead cuticle so we just gonna do that with our sander band and then I'm gonna use my makeup brush to dust all that dust off because you don't want any dust because dust can cause lifting. So I sprayed my nails with alcohol and then I put on some peel off polish. I do not really like this peel off polish but this peel off polish is gonna have to do because I do not want these nails to stay on because your girl is keeping on this length. This is very long. These are like XX tips coffin tips and I do not want to keep these on so therefore I am just going to try to make sure that none of these pop off because this pill off really really works like literally I can just push my nail tip down and it will lift the whole thing off like really and they did pop off um, later in the video but I put them back on with some glue so right now i'm just putting some clear over top of the pill off so that it can stay a little bit better um if you all have any like pill off techniques or anything that i can buy for when i'm doing videos like this where i want to just take the nails off please comment below and let me know which product works the best oh yeah and by the way i'm using valentino's clear gel well no not gel valentino's clear acrylic and also my brush is a size 16 this is the same brush i use when i'm doing nail content at home so like i said um i'm just only putting it on the nail plate and that's all just to cover up that peel off base so i'm using these clear tips because i still want to have that clear look when I put this blue on it so this is wave ink so I'm just going to um, put a little bit of ink inside of the acrylic liquid just to give my clear acrylic a blue tint I kind of don't want to put too much but enough to where the blue pops a little bit but you can also still see through the nail and as you all see I'm just testing it out I'm mixing it up with my acrylic brush and seeing if I like how the pigment look. I didn't really like how thin that was, so I added more blue. Your girl ended up making a mess. <laughs> I'm spilling this ink everywhere. It's on the paper towel, on the towel. I should have never tried to pour it in there. I should have just kept putting the brush inside the bottle and dipping it in the acrylic liquid but I didn't do that because I was trying to make this process go faster and I end up getting it on my nail tip and I'm like oh why didn't I think of that so I decided to go ahead and see how this acrylic looks it was still a little bit too light so I added just a little bit more pigment into it and I end up brushing the wave ink onto my acrylic tips which I should have did in the first place but I just didn't know if I wanted to do that because I still wanted that clear look and 
I, I just felt like it wasn't giving me the look that I wanted. Um, but I just went on and painted it on there. You can still see through the nails a little bit at the end, but it still worked out. It was really cute. So I just went on and made a mess and painted these tips with this wave ink. Okay, so I'm taking the blue that I made and I'm just covering that clear up and I'm just going to make sure I blend this in with the nail tip to make it look like I put the blue throughout the whole nail. I just want to make sure you can't see my nail plate. This is just going to be a background for when I put my acrylic glitter on top. So I'm just going to put it on the bottom part of my nail and kind of ombre it into the blue where the tip is at, if you get what I'm saying. But that clip is coming up in just a second. I just wanted to show you all how I put this blue on my nail plate. And um, you want to make sure that it's clean because you don't want to have any acrylic or any blue on your skin. So now this is where I put on my mermaid glitter that I made. This is so pretty. It's like iridescent, just pretty mermaidish. So I decided to use this and make it ombre. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and swipe it up the nail to ombre it with the blue tip. And I want to make sure that well, what I made sure I did was put enough glitter inside the clear acrylic so that it covers most of my nail plate because you don't really want to see the tip of my nail. So I'm like, ooh, this is so cute. Maybe I should cover the whole nail with this glitter. But I'm like, mm, nah, because it's this bubble effect that I've seen that's trending right now that I really, really wanted to do. And I thought that it went perfect with this mermaid ocean in the sea vibe that I have going on. So yeah, we just gonna ombre it and leave room for the bubble effect. Like these nails are super, super long. These nails given Cardi B, these nails are longer than the last nails that I did. But I needed them to be this long so that I could do my little water mermaid girl. That is gonna be so amazing when I show y'all how I did this. Like this set, um, it took me about four and a half hours but that's with me stopping. So actually I did it one day and then the next day I put them back on and did some more because I started these late. I started these, I wanna say at 11.30 at night and stopped at uh, one o'clock in the morning. It was like one-ish, two-ish. And then I'm like, oh, I'm tired. So I went on to the next day and I'm like, okay. Now I'm up, I'm focused, my brain is working. Let's go ahead and finish these because if I would have kept doing it throughout the whole night, these probably would have been horrible because my brain was not working. <laughs> so I have my Beatles top coat and my CND shellac white. And I'm just gonna use this to make my milky white for my bubble effect. I'm just going to mix both of the colors together. I just wanna dot of white, not too much, and more clear than white, and I'm just gonna mix that together. And you can do it to your liking, but I feel like if it's more milky, it gives it like that. Okay, these are bubbles in the ocean <laughs> effect, like, so yes. Oh, 
Okay, now that I have it where I want it, I'm going to go in with my Beatles No White Gel Top Coat. And I'm going to cover this glitter and blue up. Instead of me using clear acrylic to cover it, I'm just going to use this gel. Saves me a little bit more time because I'm going to have to encapsulate all this stuff again anyway. So I just want to clean, clean nail where I'm able to get a smooth surface of gel polish especially when I do this bubble effect because you don't want any glitter pieces or anything in the way you want to clean and smooth on my middle nail as you all know I'm going to be doing the mermaid so I just left that plain and I'm focusing on my blue nails first I actually think they're cute like this <clears throat> but your girl wants to do extra so I cured it for 60 seconds and I took my round gel brush to paint on my milky white. And you can start wherever you want to start your bubbles at. But I wanted to kind of start, start it on the blue tip but kind of overlap some of that glitter. And um, I'm just going to do it like that. So you just paint it evenly on your nail and you want to take... You don't cure it you just paint that you don't cure at all leave it and then you can take a brush or a dotter tool i feel like a dotter tool works way better and just take a little bit of your clear no white top coat and just dip it in and just put dots everywhere and by you not curing it it spreads the gel so that's what gives you the bubble effect and you just want to sporadically put these anywhere you can make them big small however you want to do it a few of them a lot of them and once you're done putting these bubbles on you can either let your nail sit for a few seconds so your bubbles can spread out more or you can cure it once you're done so that your bu bubbles stay exactly how you wanted them to be because if not they'll just keep spreading out and you'll have a different effect than what you want so i kind of just let it sit for a little bit so my bubbles can spread and then i cured it in a light for 60 seconds and you want to do each nail by itself <clears throat> so i did that nail then i'm going to go ahead and do one nail cure and then the next nail cure On to the mermaid nail, yay! So I'm using my Kiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat. And this is a top coat specifically made for chrome. I really, really like this top coat because it pops your chrome out. So I'm just painting the whole nail with this. So I can put my chrome on there. I'm gonna use like a mermaid chrome i'm gonna also you was well, not mermaid chrome it's like a pinkish i mean not pink purple bluish chrome and then i'm gonna add some green and some regular blue on there and just do different spots to kind of ombre my chrome out on my own so i'm going to keep the, i didn't put no base coat because i want to kind of still have it clear i want that clear look throughout all these nails and I'm just rubbing that chrome on there, blending these colors together to give me that mermaid fish scale look. And it came out very, very good. I really, really like it. Okay, so now that I'm happy with my chrome, I am going to go ahead and seal in these blue nails because I am done with those for now. So I just use my clear top coat, I mean, no, not top coat, my clear acrylic from Valentino. And I'm just letting the acrylic work its way down. You wanna have your nail facing down so that gravity can do its job so that you can have less time working on one nail. Less time, faster work. 
So you want to kind of let gravity do its job and make sure when you're dealing with longer nails, you put more liquid than acrylic so that it can work its way down. You see how I'm just letting that slide down there? And I don't have to keep doing one ball, two ball, three ball, four ball. I'm doing one, two, and done. And then I feel like it works better when you have a bigger brush when doing longer nails. So if you're not so used to a bigger brush, I suggest that you practice because when you start doing longer nails, it comes in handy. Okay, so as you all know, if you watch me before, I like to use nail forms to draw out anything that I am building on my nails. And for her fishtail, I am going to draw this out on the form. I'm using a lead pencil and I just have my nail that is going to have the tail on it right up on the form so that I could kind of like measure out how big and where I want the fish tail to be at because your girl gotta make sure it's accurate accurate gosh I can't articulate my words right or get them right or just even say them right what is wrong with me <laughs> so yes once I'm done drawing that I go in with my clear acrylic, same acrylic that I've been using, and I am just going to fill in that fish tail. You don't want to go outside the lines, kind of keep it clean so that you'll have less foul fouling time and it'll be perfect. Not perfect, but you don't have to do too much fixing. You kind of want to keep and stay inside the lines and if you do go outside the lines just clean it up with your brush clean it up clean it up clean it up get some of that make sure that your acrylic bead is dry too because you don't want it to start seeping out of the line and just just everywhere like so make sure you have dry beads when you're forming stuff on foreign paper Okay, I'm going to use another nail tip to do the water nail. I'm just measuring out this tip. Um, the tip does not really meet the end of the nail, the other nail tip at the bottom. So I kind of went on and used a larger nail tip, which I probably should have used that nail tip that I had because with using a larger nail tip, it created less space for me to be able to put things inside of the water nail and for things to move around that I had noticed once I got done. So make sure you go a size under like, uh, I believe this tip was a size three, I believe, when I should have probably used a size, uh, I probably should have used another size three or a size under for the cover top, the top of the nail, just so I have more space to be able to put stuff in there and for my things to be able to move around. But as you all see, um, I just use my Beatles No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And I use No Wipe because I don't want my things that I put inside my water nail to stick to the side of the nails. So um, you wanna make sure you use a No Wipe gel when you're sealing your water nail. I cured that for 60 seconds. Make sure everything is sealed and put in place as it should be. So that is that. Now I'm going to take the pieces that I want and well, first, I'm taking my IBD gel. Sorry, I forgot to say that. And I'm closing the bottom of the nail. I probably should have closed the top, but I didn't have much room to put things in the bottom. Like I said, I used the wrong size tip. But I'm going to close the sides and the bottom of the nail so that once I put all my pieces in, nothing will fall out and no liquid will fall outside of this nail. So, 
I'm just gonna leave the top part open so that I can fit things in there. Now that I have all my things in the nail, I'm going to use some baby oil or whatever kind of oil that you have and you're going to put it inside your nail. Make sure that you leave a nice size, not too big of a bubble, but a nice size bubble in there so that your things can move up and down your nail. As I said, I effed up on this nail because I didn't make my bubble big enough and I didn't put uh the right tip on there so my things barely moved inside this nail so that's why i really kind of at the end covered it up with some chrome you can still see through it but you can't really see too much through it because i kind of failed with this water nail <laughs> so make sure y'all do it the right way because once you fail with a water nail it's a lot to repair it and I did not have time to repair this, so I just left it how it was. I would have just left everything to where you can see through the nail, so since it didn't work out for me, I just kind of like covered the top part with some chrome, and it still came out pretty. So yeah. Now I am going in with my nude to create my body for my mermaid, and um... I'm just going to kind of blend that in on top. I closed my hole with clear. I'm just going to kind of blend that in on top of that into the water nail so that it looks like I'm doing like an ombre nail, but it's like half of her body. And um, I'm just going to make sure that I clean up really good because I can't really too much foul this nail or I will put a hole in my water nail or I might burst it or something so you want to be careful when doing this part um, I did foul a little bit at the top but not too much at the bottom and I'm going to use a little um, pen or you can use like a the end of your lead pencil or a cuticle pusher tip to kind of do this part and I'm going to make a belly button and you want to make sure that your acrylic is still semi-wet when you do this so you kind of want to move fast with this or you will not be able to accomplish this look so yeah that's what we're going to do and after I do this part I'm going to do her little what is that her waist fin I don't know what you call that somebody comment and let me know what that's called but basically where her body meets the fish I'm going to do that part with this acrylic and I'm making her boobs with this acrylic and I'm just going to cover all that with the chrome so yeah we're just using our 3d brush and we're just going to make sure we mold that very well because if not it's going to look horrible and you're going to have problems trying to fix it and excuse me I start getting out of focus so, you still can see me working, but it's all the way down at the bottom of the screen. And that's going to kind of happen throughout this video. But once I get into these nails, I'll be focused. So I need to start looking sometimes to see if I'm out of focus in the camera. Because a lot of times I don't. And I'll be forgetting, like, oh, you're recording. Make sure you're in focus. So, this is the part that I was talking about where I'm going to create her <clears throat> dress whatever you want to call it the little fin part that meets her body to the fish mermaid and I'm going to attach now that my pieces are dry <coughs> excuse me I'm going to attach it with glue I feel it's easier to attach it with gel or acrylic the acrylic is way easier to be honest because the acrylic you don't have to hold it as long as you would with gel or glue so I advise you to use acrylic and now that my fans are attached I'm going in with my no wipe top coat from Kiera Sky my chrome top coat and I'm just gonna cover all of her body besides the top part 
and her fish tail and we're gonna chrome this and we're gonna create some fish scales. When you cure this, cure it for 90 seconds. And I'm just gonna make sure I have no base again because I still want it to be see-through kind of that transparent look and I'm going in with all the chrome colors that I used the first time and I'm just gonna ombre them together and give it that mermaid effect on her body oh yeah and hint hint when you're doing chrome ombres instead of rubbing it in when you're mixing different chromes together you want to dab them on there in the areas that you want them and make sure you have all the colors dabbed on there then at the end you rub them together that is what's going to blend those chromes together because I've seen a lot of times where people rub in one color then rub in another color and it just look like layers of chrome no you don't do that you dab it on there then you rub them together so now I'm just chroming her out you know we're gonna put that on there then we're gonna dust it then we're gonna put some on her little bra or whatever you want to call it her fish bra her mermaid bra <laughs> and we're just gonna mermaid this out you know, I keep saying that, but that's what we're doing. So I'm using my round brush to make sure I get no gel on her body because I don't want any chrome on her body. So you have to you have to be really careful when doing this part. And you just want to rub it in carefully. Try not to rub it in on her body. Mm -hmm. Just like that. We're using Kiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat again. And I matted my mermaid this time because I'm going to make her fish scales and I'm going to use this clear no wipe top coat because when you use matte you and you use clear on top of matte, you can rub your chrome on the clear instead of the matte. And I'm going to do that effect where the chrome is on top of the fish scales and give it that realistic fish look. So I'm going to draw those all the way up her body and then I'm going to add some details on her fish tail with uh, my IBD gel. And I'm not going to put chrome on top of that. I'm just going to add the chrome, I mean the gel on the fish tail and then put clear on top of everything once I'm done. So you all will see how that will look and I'm going to also put a little bit, that was really hard. I'm going to put a little bit of fish, uh, fish scales on her bra. Now that part I struggled with. I had to do that over like three times, but I got it. I got it with a small brush, small thin brush. And you just got to make sure you're paying attention to how you're drawing those lines and making sure that you're using not too much gel because you don't want it to leak into each other and then what you did is just gone. It, it just turned into you top coating the nail or a big blob or something. So <clears throat> I finished my mermaid. Now we're going in with my 4D gel. This is like clay almost. As you all see, I can roll it, I can pinch it, I can twist it. And we're gonna create the octopus. So this is the fun part. I'm gonna put it on the nail that's next to the mermaid. And you all can watch and see how I do this. Um, what I didn't do to help it stick to the nail was put a top coat on the nail. Or you could put a little bit of alcohol on the base of the nail and then stick your um, clay or 4D gel on the nail so that you won't have to try to, you know, struggle to put it on your nail. I just make life harder for me. 
and I'm using my gel brush to kind of like work with it as I said to work with this I suggest that you use alcohol just a little bit just so you can play with it you don't want to smush it you kind of want to tap it a little bit when you're working with this and guys that mermaid came out amazing look at her look at her she is cute and I don't know if I mentioned but I top coated the whole nail with clear again just so I could get that nice shiny clear effect again and um with each piece of this octopus well, I was about to say tail legs I cured it under the light for 90 seconds because you want to make sure that the whole thing is cured all the way through because if not you'll be able to smush it and the whole thing will just mess up or if you bump something and it's still kind of wet in the middle it'll just mess up so I'm just playing with it you know making it look like the octopus is wrapping around the nail and yeah I actually seen this from another nail tech what was her name and she actually gave me this idea and I'm like ooh inspiration inspiration her name is nails by diva check her out she's very good at what she what she do nails by diva most of my inspiration come from her and Valentino so now I am done with the legs and now I'm just gonna make the little suction things on the octopus what are those called I don't even know but I'm using my cuticle pusher the part that you clean under the nails with to kind of make those little round circles and also I'm using my daughter tool You just go put a few of them on there. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overdo it with those. You just want to make sure that you give it that octopus look. Like, oh, okay, that's what she was trying to create, an octopus. So now I'm going in with my purple gel. Uh, I don't even know this brand. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't tell y'all what brand this is. But I actually got these off the AliExpress. These are like... Um, little gel colors that I got and they was actually cheap it was like 80 cents for one or about 60 cents 60 to 80 cents for one and I really like them they work good and I'm just outlining the bottom part of her octopus hand and I'm just gonna go around the whole thing making sure I don't get it on the nail with this purple and with each octopus layer well not layer but each octopus arm I'm going to cure it just so that my gel stays in place and I don't accidentally bump it or anything like that and after I use this purple as you all I pay attention to the details and you all see with the octopus on Little Mermaid the suction parts were blue so I'm just going in with my light blue and just coloring in those suction parts what are those called because i keep calling the suction parts and i feel like i'm not saying the right thing so comment below let me know what those are called so if you are a very artistic nail tech and you like 3d work i really really highly recommend that you get some 3d gels well 4d gels which is like the little clay stuff that i use to make the octopus hands and some nail gel art because that would be your best friend. Those are your best friends. So um, this will be the last step that I show because my camera went out and I was so mad because I was not paying attention. I did show y'all how I did the water drips on my thumb or even how I put my crystals and seashells on these nails. I'm so upset that I couldn't show y'all, but I hope you all like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with anyone and everyone. Thank you for watching. Love you all. See you in the next video. Peace. Mwah. We are dreaming in the dark. We are